And now moving on to global update, the China's economy sharp rebound from the coronavirus pandemic has now slowed in the second quarter this year. Meanwhile, Australia has strongly criticized the European Union's proposal to enact a carbon border tax. More stories on today's International Minute. The U.S. and Germany will stand together against Russian aggression. President Joe Biden said as he welcomed outgoing Chancellor Angela Merkel to Washington. Biden said he had voiced concern to Merkel over a Russia to Germany gas pipeline, but they agreed Moscow cannot be allowed to use energy as a weapon. The U.S. president said the two allies also opposed anti-democratic actions by China. The Chinese economy sharp rebound from the coronavirus pandemic has now slowed, official figures show. Gross domestic product increased by 7.9% in the second quarter of 2021 compared to the same time last year. That was less than half the rate seen in the previous quarter and missed economists' forecast of 8.1% growth. Australia has strongly criticized the European Union's proposal to enact a carbon border tax. The measure was confirmed in the EU's sweeping new climate plan. Such a tax would make exporters to the EU pay more for goods like steel and cement to level the playing field for European firms paying carbon permits. But Australia has argued that such a tariff would be protectionist and could breach trade rules. India's central bank has barred MasterCard indefinitely from issuing new debit or credit cards to domestic customers. The Reserve Bank of India has accused the company of violating data storage laws. The bank said MasterCard had not complied with rules requiring foreign card networks to store data on Indian payments exclusively in India. MasterCard will be prohibited from issuing debit, credit, or prepaid cards to customers in India from July 22nd. IDX Channel reports.